Hi, this is Billy Bean here with another segment of Truth by Billy Bean. Special report, today's date, December 6, 2022. New, this is my third YouTube channel. I have a subscribe button in the lower right corner of my screen. Thanks for like, subscribe, and share on YouTube and Rumble. Episode 475. Some of my sources are God in the Bible, Patriot subscribers, Canadian Prepper, Bushcraft Bear, ETN News, PJ Burning Platform, Paul Craig Roberts, Benjamin Fulford. So we see NATO strikes inside Russia. NATO, U.S. to invade Ukraine. Well, they're trying for it. The deep state to use technology to create tsunamis to hit the west and east coast of the U.S. So, let's get started. Okay, I have a Patriot subscriber. Yesterday, I was putting out information about new technology that come out, the cameras. If they're putting out the uh, open public statement that they might have this technology or it's just coming into use, you can bank your life. It's been in use now for years. Okay. And it's uh, called, in China, it's called Hick Vision. And in other areas, it's called, they, in the U, uh, UK, in England, it's called Face Technology. And the cameras can do use facial uh, recognition for your face. But their technology with via their cameras can also identify your uh, culture, your language, your DNA. Now, I'm not sure. You'd have to bounce, be bouncing frequency off of individuals. So I'm not sure how that technology would work. But I have a Patriot subscriber who said, 16 different airlines inside the U.S. use face recognition cameras. I'm another Patriot subscriber who says the Australian government okayed the use of face recognition cameras and there was little pushback by the people. But I submit they're doing a lot more than recognizing your face. Okay. So we have this. This is about uh, from the burning platform. Uh, December 6, New Zealand. Uh, Facebook gave the New Zealand government access to take down any posts that were critical of the New Zealand government. So this public notice is coming out with re reference to New Zealand government. I submit to you, Facebook gave all governments access to Facebook. Yeah. Anyone who says anything critical about your government, you can take it down. Okay, Elon Musk and this Twitter to do, we're seeing these uh, headlines. Uh, President Trump wants to do away with the Constitution. It's the mainstream media uh, taking words out of context, making up things. Elon Musk and Twitter states that there was the same use by governments as this other notice is uh, saying that other governments also had input into Facebook and clamping down on speech inside Facebook. And it also happened inside Twitter. All right. Elon Musk is coming out with that. Now, we have this. Oh, yeah. And just in the last few days, the JB uh, actor puppet uh, for the alleged U.S. government came out with a Department of Homeland Security terrorist bulletin. Oh, we're going to have to go after American citizens who speak against the U.S. government. See, it's all fitting together, isn't it? All these public notices about this technology we have to spy on you. And then all this rhetoric about bringing on the digital money system. 
inside the United States by July 1 of 2023. Yeah, the deep state says to American citizens, in a few months, we're coming for your cash, for your money that's in your bank accounts and do away with that whole system by July 1, 2023, coinciding with all this technology we have to spy on you. Yeah, it's a lockdown slave system we're coming. We're coming for you. I think uh, the American citizen patriots and uh, God are going to say no to that, as well as other patriots, citizens all over the world who are going to say to their governments, we're not putting up with this. Okay. Now, we have this. We have Benjamin Fulford coming out talking about different technologies that governments are going to be using. And we have, here's the U.S. We have Hawaii. We have Africa. We have La Palma. And this is going on. My sources for this are Benjamin Fulford, ETN News, a Bearcraft. Uh, uh, bear, yeah, bushcraft bear in La Palma. All right. So now ETN News has been doing a good job of talking about the Hilna slump. And now we have a, a major uh, volcano going off inside Hawaii. On La Palma, a bushcraft bear reported a few days ago about this unusual activity, a circle in the water of energy. Now, ETN News has been reporting similar instances off of the East Coast and the West Coast in our oceans. And uh, uh, Benjamin Fulford then is stating that the deep state is using technology on both Hawaii and La Palma to create tsunamis to take down the east and west U.S. coasts. So that's going on. Yeah. Right. And another source, the conversation. Yeah, it's create a 100 meter tsunami, which would be about 328 feet on both the west and east coast. So we have multiple sources for this. Okay. And we have another source, six, that's saying that the deep state, the white hats, are trying to get something going and are using technology. So this is the white hats that are using technology. And this has to do with the Pacific Rim. And that's to drive these off-world entities that are uh, underground to the surface. And we're seeing that happening in Ukraine too. So they're using technology also. All right. So we have this. We have Israeli News Live, Stephen Benoon, formerly with the CIA, now has a ministry, but regularly gets updates from the uh, Pentagon. Talking about Belarus. And here is Ukraine. Here is Belarus. Yeah, and I know a few, uh, two years ago, I think I was taking a nap and I, I uh, have this word come in my mind, uh, Lukashenko. And I looked it up. It is a type of hat, but actually it was God referring to the leader of Belarus, Lukashenko. So that's going on. Now, uh, Stephen is talking about a foreign minister for Belarus being assassinated. And uh, by the U.S., the shadow, U.S., NATO, uh, in the last couple of years. Okay, 
and Stephen is bringing this out and the location for the individuals who uh, accomplished the assassination on behalf of the U.S. NATO, shadow U.S. NATO CIA is in Dulce, New Mexico. And it involved a type of uh, remote viewing. I'll show it. I'll explain it to you. Remote viewing typically is in your mind. You can project your mind out to another location and see things. This remote view for the assassins, uh, yeah, they could see the individual. But what happens here is much more than remote viewing. They project their spirit out to the individual's mind and physical body. They enter the physical body, create heart attacks through taking over their mind and spirit like that, and they assassinate the individual. Now, Stephen believes that over the past, say, five years, the shadow U.S. NATO has used this type of remote view assassination on four out of nine Russian foreign ministers and then one for Belarus. Now, you may ask, can Christians be taken over by this? No, they cannot. Once we have inside us, God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, we have protection around us. So no. Is this real? Yes. It's very real. All right. Okay. So now we have this. Canadian prepper brought out some details for the recent uh, attack that was on Ukraine. I went inside Russia. That was the Raya uh, Snack location, and also Ingalls Air Force Base, which is right on the edge of Russia, Mongolia, China, and Japan. Now, my thinking was this was thousands of kilometers and miles inside Russia. It's possible that from Ukraine, a drone could have hit this location, but not this one. Mm -mm. Too far away. This was either inside Russia, or I submit uh, the 23 uh, U.S. bases on Japan could have been located on a small island out here operated by the shadow U.S. military. The shadow NATO, and they could have fired into Ingalls right here from this location. Now, Canadian Prepper had a, has a name for the drone, Ukroboran Prov. Okay, that can you know, launch out 1,000 kilometers and also has a 75 kiloton nuclear warhead on it so yeah the shadow u.s and nato i mean they're um okay so they did a test bombing december 5 to russia that would have been here this one i submit came from outside russia i believe on this perimeter somewhere uh off of japan all right now, and the Russian media, 15 hours later, is not saying much about it. Okay, now, we have this. We have um, footage from Israeli News Live. I had saw it on other sites also. And I'll link it for you, showing uh, just minutes or simultaneous. Footage came out of Russia of the attack on the Ingalls Air Force Base 
that we know was deep, deep inside Russia, adjacent to Mongolia and China. Almost simultaneous, the uh, footage came out of the attack on Ingalls, and I would estimate the distance. It was taken from a balcony of an apartment building, a, a, well, I say apartment building, a high rise. And you could see down the street and you saw boom. So it would be a city and a building with line of sight for Ingalls. So that happened and it came out almost at the same time. So I'll link that for you. Also, Hal Turner was a source on that. Now, Paul, Craig, Roberts. He's a noted economist. He has an Institute for Political Economy. Came out with this information from the NATO meeting that took place, uh, I believe that was like maybe Thursday, Friday of last week, took place in Romania. Now, he's bringing out what they said. Okay. He said the Latvia foreign minister, let me see, this is Rink Ovex said, send attacks deep inside Russia. So that was just said at that NATO meeting a few days ago. Now, Paul Craig Roberts is reporting an unidentified NATO general says, we have U.S. troops on the border with Ukraine, and we're ready to invade. Well, I would wonder who that might be, this unidentified NATO general, because the last time I knew anything about the U.S. using U.S. military troops to engage in an act of war by invading another nation, I assume that... Uh, U.S. Congress, which we know is uh, not exactly on the up and up, but definitely it was, would be something you would have to sell for the US, to the U.S. people. But no, we have an unidentified NATO general saying, hey, we've got U.S. troops ready to invade. Now, we heard recently, here's Ukraine, here's Poland. Romania. We've been hearing in the past couple of weeks that in Poland we had 40,000 U.S. troops and that they had 30,000. These are the Polish troops. Romania has 20,000 of the Romanian troops and they could commit to a force of 90,000 troops to invade Ukraine. We also, in Romania, have the 101st Airborne U.S., 4,700 troops. Now, uh, I know Scott Ritter came out and said, oh, the U.S. troops, they're in Poland. They're just there to make the Polish people, you know, feel secure. That was never my thinking. I didn't see the shadow U.S. government spending millions of dollars to transport these troops here just to make the pol Poles feel good. No, it was always my thought that they intended to use these troops to invade Ukraine. And now we have sources telling us NATO generals want to take control of U.S. troops, have them commit an act of war and invade Ukraine. So that's going on. Now let's have a short prayer. This will be from 
This will be fifth in the tw out of 12 series in the mulberry bush series, the mulberry bushes. In 2 Samuel chapter 5, David uh, was going to battle. He inquired of the Lord, and the Lord said, Wait till you hear a certain sound in the mulberry trees. Well, in different translations, it's different types of trees. But wait. And when you hear that sound, then you go out. So this prayer is based on uh, the Brenton's Septuagint translation. The Septuagint is the Hebrew translation of the Hebrew Bible, and it's entitled The Weeping Place. And uh, David had inquired, and we can inquire, and the Lord said, Turn from the enemy and meet me in the place of weeping, and wait until you hear the sound of clashing from the grove of weeping. Then you go down to your enemy, and I, the Lord your God, I will go before you, commander of my angel armies, to make havoc in the battle. And David did as the Lord commanded, and he smote the enemy from Gabon, which is north of Jerusalem, to Gazera, near Judea, thousands of miles, thousands of kilometers. And that is our God. And we know one angel in one night killed 185,000 of the enemy. And we say, Father, go before us, commander of your angel armies, and smite our enemies, domestic, foreign, and off world. And we thank you, Father, Son, Jesus, whom many call Yeshua and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And I say to my family and friends, remain steady out there. Continue to pray. God is in charge and he is on the move. And a new thing that the prophet uh, Dutch Sheets came out with in his give him 15 teaching this morning is that and something new that dutch just learned when we speak out the things that god has already done we release that same power in the present and in the future and we say thank you father i love you and I'll see you soon.